Have you ever wondered why, after devouring a packet of chips or a candy bar, you feel momentarily euphoric only to crash into a state of lethargy and low mood shortly after? This roller coaster of emotions isn't just your imagination running wild. It's the immediate effect of processed food consumption on our mood and energy levels. We're about to dive headfirst into the world of ultra-processed food and its implications on mental health. Well, that's not just a coincidence. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why. So what exactly are these ultra-processed foods we're talking about? Well, let's dive into the nitty-gritty. Ultra-processed foods are, in their simplest definition, foods that have gone through multiple stages of processing and contain many ingredients. Now you might be thinking, hey, isn't all food processed to some degree? And you'd be right. However, there's a difference between processed, minimally processed, and ultra-processed foods. Picture this, you're peeling an apple. That's minimal processing. You're not adding anything to it or taking anything away from it, just removing the skin. Now imagine turning that apple into applesauce. You've cooked it, maybe added some sugar or cinnamon. That's processed. But then consider an apple-flavored candy. It's gone through multiple stages of processing and contains ingredients you'd probably struggle to pronounce. That, my friend, is ultra-processed. Ultra-processed foods are typically made through a series of complex techniques and steps that can include extrusion, hydrogenation, and hydrolysis. These processes often strip the food of its original nutrients and replace them with artificial additives, colors, and flavors. The goal is to create foods that are shelf-stable, convenient, and palatable. The ingredients list of ultra-processed foods often reads like a chemistry textbook. High fructose corn syrup, monosodium glutamate, artificial sweeteners, and synthetic trans fats are just a few examples of the common ingredients found in these foods. And let's not forget the king of them all, sodium. These foods are typically high in salt, which can contribute to a host of health problems if consumed in large quantities. But the real kicker? Ultra-processed foods are often marketed as convenient or time-saving options. They're the fast food meals, the microwave dinners, the candy bars at the checkout line. They're everywhere, and they're easy to reach for when you're in a rush. In essence, ultra-processed foods are far from what Mother Nature intended for us to consume. They're a far cry from the fresh fruits, vegetables, grains, and proteins that our bodies thrive on. So next time you're reaching for that packet of chips, give it a second thought. Is it really worth it? As appealing as these ultra-processed foods may seem, they harbor a dark secret. Now, let's delve into the link between ultra-processed foods and mental health. Several studies have suggested a correlation, and it's not a pretty one. For starters, a study published in the journal Molecular Psychiatry found that a diet high in ultra-processed food increases the risk of depression. Yes, you heard it right, those late-night snack binges might be doing more than expanding your waistline, but how does this happen? Well, these foods are often high in sugar, sodium and unhealthy fats, and low in essential nutrients. This can lead to inflammation in the body, and believe it or not, inflammation doesn't just cause aches and pains. It can also affect your brain. When the brain is inflamed, it can lead to imbalances in our mood-regulating chemicals, potentially triggering symptoms of depression and anxiety. Moving on to another disturbing finding, a study in pediatrics suggested that a diet high in processed foods might increase the risk of ADHD in children. Now that's a thought to chew on. These foods can cause spikes and crashes in blood sugar, leading to impulsivity, inattention, and hyperactivity. And if that's not enough to make you rethink your food choices, consider this. A study in the Journal of Public Health Nutrition found a link between ultra-processed food and mental health disturbances, including mood disorders, sleep disorders, and overall poorer quality of life. These findings suggest that what we eat directly affects how we feel. And unfortunately, ultra-processed foods, convenient as they may be, can have a negative impact on our mental health. So we've got depression, anxiety, ADHD, and other mental health disturbances in the mix. It's a bit like a sinister cocktail, isn't it? And the main ingredient appears to be ultra-processed food. It's a grim picture, isn't it? But don't worry, there's a brighter side to this narrative. Remember the time when food was just food? Ah, those were the days when apples were simply apples, not sugar-coated, artificially flavored apple-esque snack bars. Today, let's take a stroll down the path of natural foods. Picture a juicy, sun-ripened tomato bursting with flavor. 
It's like biting into a tiny summer sun, isn't it? Now contrast that with a packet of tomato-flavored chips. There's no competition, right? The real McCoy wins every time. And let's not forget the all-star avocado, the poster child of good fats. It's like nature's butter, but with an impressive resume of nutrients. Or consider the humble potato. Boil it, bake it, roast it, mash it. Just don't turn it into a bag of crisps and you've got yourself a hearty, healthy meal. And have you ever tried a pomegranate? It's like nature's version of popping candy, but without the artificial colors and flavors. Each little ruby red seed is a burst of sweet and tart delight. Now imagine trying to replicate that experience with a packet of sweets. It's like comparing a magnificent sunset to a faded postcard. The variety and flavors of natural foods are astonishing. Each season brings new delights, from the crisp apples of autumn to the juicy berries of summer. And each of these foods is brimming with the nutrients our bodies need to function at their best. But the benefits of natural foods aren't restricted to our physical health. They also play a critical role in our mental well-being. Foods like oily fish, nuts and seeds are rich in omega-3 fatty acids which are essential for brain health. Meanwhile, fruits, vegetables and whole grains provide a wealth of vitamins and minerals that help keep our minds sharp and our moods stable. So it's not all doom and gloom after all. The solution to our problem is as simple as going back to our roots. Let's embrace nature's bounty and let our food be just food. All right, so how do we break up with these ultra-processed foods? Well, it's easier than you might think, and no, it doesn't involve moving to a remote island and living off coconuts. It's all about embracing nature's bounty in our everyday meals. Let's start by swapping out some common ultra-processed foods with their natural counterparts. Instead of reaching for that bag of potato chips, why not try some crunchy carrot sticks or celery with hummus? And that sugary breakfast cereal can easily be replaced with a bowl of hearty oatmeal topped with fresh fruits and a drizzle of honey. Next, let's talk about your sweet tooth. We all have one, don't we? But instead of indulging in candy bars or cookies, why not satisfy your cravings with some juicy grapes or a ripe banana? They're just as sweet, but they come with a whole lot of nutrients that those ultra-processed sweets can't even dream of matching. And don't worry, we're not suggesting you to go cold turkey on ultra-processed foods. That's not realistic or even necessary. The goal here is to gradually make healthier choices, one meal at a time. Remember, every little change counts. Now we know that convenience is a big factor when it comes to food choices. After all, who has the time to cook every meal from scratch? But here's a tip. Prep your meals in advance. Spend a couple of hours on the weekend chopping up veggies, cooking grains and preparing proteins. That way you've got the base for healthy home-cooked meals ready to go throughout the week. Finally, let's not forget about the power of spices and herbs. They can take a simple dish from May to wow in a heartbeat. And they're a great way to reduce the reliance on processed sauces and dressings. So, are you ready to kick those ultra-processed foods to the curb? It's a journey. And it may take a bit of time, but trust us, your body and mind will thank you for it. Remember, it's not about perfection, but progression. To sum it up, we've journeyed through the world of ultra-processed foods and shed light on its link to mental health disturbances such as depression, anxiety, and ADHD. The path we've tread has revealed the truth behind these convenience foods and the price we pay for their accessibility. We've uncovered the meaning of ultra-processed, a term that hides in plain sight on our food labels. It's the cloak that wraps around foods that are far from their natural state, laden with additives and stripped of their inherent nutritional value. We've also taken a stroll through nature's bounty, rediscovering the delights of food in its purest form. From the crunch of a fresh apple to the delicate sweetness of a ripe tomato, the natural world offers a smorgasbord of flavors that are not just delicious, but also nourishing for our body and mind. And let's not forget the crucial point we've stressed, the importance of making the switch to natural foods for the sake of our mental health. It's not just about cutting out the bad stuff, but also about embracing the good. Making conscious food choices is a game changer, a step towards a healthier, happier you. So next time you reach for that packet of chips, think twice, your brain will thank you.